Hey everyone, today I'm going to walk you through building a basic camera follow script in Unity for use with a third person character controller. If you don't have a rigged model, you can download a pre-rigged one that I made with Blender and rigged with Mixamo. As always, the link is in the description, so you can just click download and save it to a place that makes sense. I'm going to save it to the assets folder of the project. So here is my sample scene in Unity. I've already saved this bug person object to my scene. We're going to start uh, by bringing in a third person user control. And to do this, we'll need to have the standard assets downloaded from the asset store. So as you can see, uh, most of our projects have been starting with this standard assets download. So um, maybe if you wanted to build a template file that just had the standard assets already loaded in, that could be a good idea. And once that's downloaded, we'll go to import. All right, now I have my standard assets completely downloaded. So I'll go back to scene view and I'm going to build a basic scene for my character to move around in. Uh, so I'll go into the prototyping folder in standard assets and the prefabs folder in the prototyping folder. I'll pull in a floor and I'll zero out its position. So now the floor is where we want it to be and we can go back into our main folder where we have uh, our bug person and we can pull them in. It looks like they're gigantic. So we'll set their position to a little bit above the X axis or the Y axis and we'll set their scale to be point one of what it is. Now we'll just change around the lighting a little bit, get some light on our character's face. The next thing we're going to want to do is turn this person into a third person character with a controller so that we can move them around. And to do this, we're going to want to add the third person user control. We can do this by going to add component, third person user control. Some things we're going to want to check out once we've added this uh, third person user control is we're going to want to make sure that our person is set, our bug person is set to a humanoid rig. And that the third person animator controller is set in the controller uh, parameter of the animator. We also might want to bring the jump power down to about six and make sure the ground check distance is at one. When we go to play, looks like our character's moving around. All right. But what if we wanted to get the camera to follow our character? This is where we'd have to build our camera follow script. And this is what this video is going to be about. So to start, we'll want to move our camera into a position that makes sense for following the character. I usually like to go a, a little bit behind the head, uh, to sort of give this third person view, maybe about right here. And then with our camera selected, we can press Control Shift F to align it with our view. And now we'll just make sure that this is the view we want. It's looking good. 
All right, so with this main camera selected, we'll want to add a component, a new script, and we'll name this camera follow. Now let's click camera follow, which will open up Visual Studio or Mo Mono Develop. Now the first thing we want to do in our camera follow script is set a public game object variable, uh, which we'll call player. This will take in our bug person, third person controller. The next thing we're going to want to add is a private vector three, which we'll call offset. And this will be a transform that will offset the player's location uh, from the, uh, the camera's location. So this offset will be declared on start. And within our start function, we'll set the offset to transform.position minus player.transform.position. So wherever our camera is aligned, it will follow the player from there. And then within our update script, we're going to want to set this transform position equal to player.transform dot position plus offset we'll give this a save now when we go back to our game we want to make sure that our player object bug person is pulled into the player uh, public variable within our camera follow script and then when we press play we should see that we're following our character. Now this is all fine and good, but it doesn't really read like a, a normal game. Uh, for, for instance, if I wanted to look over to the left or to the right, um, I wouldn't have a way of doing that. Most games you have some sort of uh, mouse look function, uh, which we can build into our camera follow. Um, I also noticed that the Whenever the player looks, it's uh, it's not it's not directing to where the player is looking, which is kind of just uh, disorienting for the user and uh, makes it so we can really go only one direction with this character. So now that we've noticed sort of the uh, the setbacks of our current script, we can go back and refactor our code. Um, we'll want to build in some sort of axis look uh, functionality within our update. Um, and so to do this, we'll set some variables in the beginning of our script, the first of which will be a float, which we'll call sensitivity. This is public, so we'll be able to change it within the game. Next, we'll set a, another float that is our max Y angle, which we'll set to 80F. And then next we'll want to set a private vector to, we'll call current rotation. And this will take the current rotation of the player um, so that we'll be able to look around. So after our first basic transform, we'll want to start writing in the logic that will allow our user to move the mouse and move the character's view. So to do that, we'll have to set both the X and Y rotations um, and bind them to the mouse axis. So to do that, we'll take our current rotation variable dot X 
plus equals input dot get axis which will get the the mouse direction mouse x and then we'll multiply this by sense sensitivity next we'll want to take the current rotation of our y and subtract the mouse's y-axis and we'll multiply this by sensitivity once again now we'll want to make sure that the character's view doesn't go out of range uh, at the moment when we play this Just cut that part out. Now we'll want to make sure that the character's view doesn't go out of range. Um, so a good rule of thumb is uh, humans, humanoids uh, generally can't turn their heads 360 degrees in full rotation. So you want to stick between uh, a 120 degree axis and so to do this we'll write current rotation dot x equals math f dot clamp and this will restrain the parameters inside of it and it will take in our current rotation dot x and then two numbers which will represent the angle with which will be clamped in our view so we'll use negative 60 and 60 with the zeroth degree being uh, straightforward a little bit of trigonometry for you it's fun uh, next we'll take in our current rotation of y and again we'll write this math clamp function and this will take in our current rotation dot y our max y angle and again our max y angle lastly we'll want to set our camera dot main transform make sure this is camera no I don't want camera follow camera dot main dot transform dot rotation equals quaternion dot Euler and this just is a fancy way of taking the user's position um, and making sure that they're always facing forward and that we're facing forward with the character facing forward and this will take in our current rotation dot y our current rotation dot x oh. look over our code once oh we missed a negative right here make sure this is negative max y angle and then we'll click save right there and when we go to play we can see that our character can now look around mm -hmm.